Most of the IT industry is moving away from LastPass, but we are sticking it out. In this video, I'm gonna share why. If you've been living under an absolute rock, well, you may have missed that LastPass have had a number of security breaches. But I'm gonna assume that you have heard the news and that you are a concerned party in this, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why we're deciding to stay with the platform when so many are ditching it. Now, most of the IT industry seems to have the consensus that LastPass has had too many security breaches and it's now time to completely ditch the product and move to something else. And that's because the breaches have been pretty serious. Now, if you're new around here, my name is Pete Moriarty. I run a business called IT Genius and we help small business owners all over the world systemize, organize and scale using Google Workspace and a number of other technology tools. We happen to be a global LastPass partner. And so we've implemented LastPass for hundreds of businesses and literally thousands of employees across those businesses. Now, that's not just to say that I am a little bit biased and that we have a lot of customers that are using this application, but also that we've got plenty of experience with the product and we've got a close connection to the actual company that run LastPass. Now they're owned by a business called LogMeIn, but LastPass itself still have individual teams and we've spent a lot of time speaking with them over the last few months about the security breach and what steps they're taking moving forward. Before I share my opinion about the situation, it's really important that you take some steps to secure your account if you are a LastPass user. Now the actual LastPass vaults have been potentially compromised by outside parties because the attacker in one of the security breaches was able to get a backup copy of customers' vaults. Now, if your master password was not particularly secure, it's just a matter of time before people potentially break into your vaults. And whatever you've got stored in there could then be compromised. Now, whether that's bank login information, crypto tokens or recovery passwords, or any other passphrases like your bank logins or two-factor authentication backup codes, or maybe even the passwords to get access to credit cards or other personal information of yours, consider that anything inside your LastPass account may not be safe unless you are absolutely certain your master password was meeting a certain number of criteria for strength. For most people, it's a good precaution to go through the new security checklist for LastPass for anyone that's been compromised, meaning that you need to change the password of any website that was stored inside your LastPass vault. So let's talk about what went wrong and what my thoughts are on the situation. Now LastPass is by far the biggest and probably the best known password manager on the market. And unfortunately it seems that that has made it a bit of a target. Now someone, an outside actor or perhaps a number of outside actors have decided to put a lot of resources towards cracking LastPass. And rather than cracking the actual technology, like most exploits these days, they use the combination of social engineering and other areas of attack ingress to actually get access to this. And, you know, they compromised the home computer of a LastPass employee. They then pretended to be that employee and compromised some other people's computers and eventually got access to some of the source code and some of the development repositories of LastPass. All of this has been documented and you can go and check out blogs if you want to learn about that. Now, one of the reasons that LastPass were targeted is because of the bank vault principle. You go after the biggest player because you're more likely to get the biggest payoff. There's plenty of scammers and hackers and phishing attacks out there these days. And rather than going after just individuals, which can be time consuming and is potentially a lower payoff, going after someone like LastPass or a vault of multiple people's passwords is like a gold mine to hackers. So that's why LastPass have been targeted. Now, the big question here is because LastPass have had breaches in the past, is it possible for us to forgive their indiscretions? As entrepreneurs know, and if you're a business owner, you would know this, failure helps you to learn. And LastPass are certainly learning from these issues and these breaches that have happened. But the big question is, have they failed too many times? Can they still be forgiven? Because they've had breaches in the past and they have continued to have larger breaches over time. Now, for a company trusted with our passwords and trusted that security should be priority number one, well, I think this is inexcusable what's happened. Was this because they were purchased by a larger organization Lock me in and you know, maybe the, the management of LastPass itself was a little bit lax over the years? I can't say for sure. But many people are screaming that this is one stroke too many for LastPass and have gone and moved to other solutions. Now, there are plenty of other solutions out there on the market and some of them that you may wish to consider would be Dashlane, one password NordPass, Bitwarden, and even Apple and Google have created their own solutions as well for storing your passwords online. So why are we choosing to stay with LastPass while, you know, plenty of people are moving in the other direction? Well, there's a principle of convenience and security that one must balance when they're in business. LastPass, to our knowledge, still has the best set of features available for small business owners who wish to share passwords and have strong administrative controls when you have a team of people sharing passwords with each other. LastPass is a great tool for generating a unique password for every single website that you work with. And that's no different to NordPass or Apple or Google or any other solutions that are out there on the market. However, where LastPass really shines is the ability to set up administrative controls 
or shared folders that you can then share with your teams. And as of yet, even though we've looked, we've not yet found another solution that has the same level of administrative controls and ease of use when you're running a team. And for us on that seesaw of managing the balance between a solution being hyper secure and making sure it has every single bell and whistle on the security side of things, which other solutions have, I would argue, better security than LastPass built in versus the convenience and the ease of use and the business advantage of a tool that is easy enough to actually use. Well, that's something that every business owner has to manage. And we know what the alternative is. If you're using a tool which may be really solid for you on an individual basis, but your team may not be using it exclusively, what tends to happen is for your staff, they may reuse passwords. They may load up a password spreadsheet inside your company and put them all on you know, Google Sheets somewhere. Or they may use the same password for every single website that they use lowering their security. We find that when teams roll out LastPass, their teams are more likely to store passwords in shared folders, and they're also more likely to generate unique passwords for every single website because that culture of using LastPass basically gets bedded into a team. So for that reason, we choose to stick with LastPass internally inside our business, knowing that with all of the PR that's happened for LastPass, they are hiring the best security experts, both internal and external outside the business, to make sure that they are improving their product. Now, for some, they may say, well, clearly there's a cultural problem at LastPass and it's unforgivable what's happened. And for those of you, I understand. But I also understand that businesses learn from their mistakes and I'm hoping that LastPass will. Now, if you're wondering, isn't Pete paid to say this? If you're a global LastPass partner, aren't you making money and you're financially invested in recommending LastPass? Well, that is true, but let me explain exactly how much LastPass makes up our business. Now, we are a reseller and we make our money from introducing small businesses to technology tools. Our primary tool that we use and that we make most of our money from is Google Workspace. We also have a CRM tool, Copper CRM. We're a partner with Asana. We're a partner with Zapier. We're a partner with Hiver. We're a partner with Dialpad. And of course, LastPass is in there as well, as well as a multitude of other products, including backups for Google Workspace as well. Now, LastPass makes up a fraction of our revenue. And to be honest, it's insignificant. And so when we bundle billing and we put everything on one invoice for our customers, it makes it much easier for them to do business and they can come to one person for support for all of their tech products. So LastPass is not really gonna move the needle for us in terms of changing to another provider. And I don't really care that much about it. Where this is most embarrassing for us as an IT provider and as a consultant is we've been recommending LastPass for about a decade now. And we pride ourselves on having the integrity to recommend products that we know are going to be solid for our small business customers. And LastPass is kind of like one of those friends that like keeps messing up and you keep nudging them and you're like, hey, dude, what's going on? But time and time again, LastPass have had repeated security breaches. So I guess this is the last chance that we're giving LastPass to make sure that their security is improved for us to continue to partner with them. And it's been a challenging discussion internally inside our business to be able to continue to support LastPass when we have many customers who are asking us questions. Is it still a good idea to even trust this business with your data? So let's step back and cast our gaze to the future. And I expect that this will not be the last security breach of these types for different security products. We are gonna to continue to expect that phishing attacks, that hacking attacks are gonna target the places where hackers can make the most money. And unfortunately, password managers, password vaults, and even IT businesses right now are a target for those who are looking to steal custom information. Now, I'm very glad to say that both Apple and Google are creating excellent password managers. And I expect at some point there will be team-based features for storing passwords and sharing passwords across teams that come to both of those managers. I expect there is the potential that those solutions will have enough features that people will move away from third-party solutions. And we know that companies like Apple and Google have the best security engineers in the world working for them. And those are the solutions that we may go to on a longer term. For now, LastPass has the best features for sharing passwords with teams. And so we've decided to stick with the platform. Unfortunately, based on the technology landscape and the current reality of where security is going, it's only a matter of time before more tools are compromised over time. And we can expect that these kind of attacks can continue in the future. In the meantime, all you can do is do your very best to make sure that you follow the best practice security principles. Use two-factor authentication for all of your devices and all of your accounts. Number two, if you can use a physical security key instead of relying on something like a phone number, that's gonna give you an extra layer of security. Number three, if you wanna have a security audit to check your whole security stack, or you might be interested in chatting to IT Genius or Onsite Helper, depending on the size of your business, and there's links below to get in touch with our team for a security audit on what's going on inside your business. But number four, making sure that you've got the correct randomization of passwords happening across all the accounts, not only for you, but also for your team as well. 
LastPass is one of the best tools to allow you to be able to create a random password for every single website that you use and then to be able to securely share that with the rest of your team. I expect in the future, we're gonna be using less and less of passwords. We're seeing passwordless management happening across Google and Microsoft and Apple as well. And each of those solutions are gonna allow us to authenticate more as a human with less typing in passwords and therefore less ability for other outside actors to get access to our accounts. Yet suffice to say, we're not there yet and it's gonna take a few more years of development for that passwordless future to arrive. But in the meantime, LastPass, I believe, is still a good solution for your business. But if you think I'm totally crazy, let me know in the comments down below. I look forward to the discussion there. See you next time. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.